Depletion of flora and fauna in India. In this module, you will learn about the various causes responsible for the depletion of flora and fauna in India. India has a wide variety of flora and fauna. However, several species from both the classes are facing extinction. Around 10% of the plant species and 20% of the animal species recorded in India are on the threatened list. Here are some alarming facts. 50% of India's natural forests have been destroyed. 40% of India's mangroves have been wiped out. One third of India's wetlands have been drained out. 70% of India's surface water bodies are polluted. What do all these indicate? Well, these facts indicate that Indian forests are under serious threat. Deforestation in India has been occurring at an alarming rate. The forest cover in India is estimated at 63,7293 square kilometers, which is 19.39% of the total geographical area. The destruction of forests for industrial, agricultural, and urban development by humans has inflicted great damage on our forests and wildlife. Mankind has transformed nature into a resource by obtaining directly or indirectly various products such as wood, rubber, medicine, food and fodder. During the colonial period, expansion of railways, commercial and scientific forestry, mining activities and agriculture have contributed to the depletion of flora and fauna. According to the Forest Survey of India, during the period 1951 to 1980, over 26,200 square kilometers of forest cover all over India was converted into agricultural land. Shifting cultivation is a type of slash and burn agriculture practiced continuously in the tribal belts, especially in the northeastern and central India, which has also contributed to depletion of forests and wildlife resources. Another major reason for the depletion of flora and fauna is the large-scale development project. Since 1951, over 5,000 square kilometer of forest has been cleared for river valley projects. Forests are still being cleared for projects such as the Narmada Sagar project in Madhya Pradesh, which would inundate 40,000 hectares of forest. Another key factor responsible for deforestation are the mining activities. The Baksa Tiger Reserve in West Bengal has been threatened by the ongoing dolomite mining. The dolomite mining has also disturbed the natural environment and habitat of the great Indian elephants and have stopped them from migrating through their original routes. The colonial forest policies were also largely responsible for the depletion of forests in India. According to these policies, only a few favored species were promoted at the cost of others, thus leading to the elimination of some species. Such type of plantation was ironically referred to as enrichment plantation. For instance, peak monoculture has damaged the natural forest in South India and tree fine plantations in the Himalayas have replaced the Himalayan oak and rhododendron forest. Environmentalists and foresters are of the view that grazing and funeral selection has also significantly contributed to the depletion of forest resources. Most of the fuel and fodder demands is met by felling a tree. Some of the other factors responsible for the decline in India's biodiversity are hunting, poaching, environmental pollution, and forest fires. The Himalayan yew, locally known as the Thunar, is referred to as a wonder plant for medical purposes. These trees are found in various parts of Himachal Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. A chemical compound, Texol, that is extracted from the twigs, roots, 
Bath and meetings of the Himalayan view is used to manufacture an anti-cancer drug. Today, this drug is the largest selling anti-cancer drug the world over. The Himalayan view is now under great threat due to overexploitation. Other important causes of environmental destruction are unequal access and inequitable consumption of resources, differential sharing of responsibility for environmental well-being and overpopulation. The destruction of forests and wildlife is not just a biological issue. It is also linked to the loss of cultural diversity. Such loss has affected many forest-dependent communities who directly depend on forests for various components like food, drink, medicine, culture, and spirituality. Women are the most affected among the poor as a result of deforestation. In some societies, women shoulder the responsibility of collection of fuel, fodder, water, and other basic needs. Due to depletion of forest resources, they have to walk more than 10 kilometers to collect these resources resulting in serious health problems. Severe floods and droughts resulting in poverty are some of the indirect impacts of deforestation. Thus, we need to preserve the biological diversity of our country. It is of prime importance for maintaining the quality of life and in the long term for survival of mankind. In this module, you have learned the following. The destruction of forests for industrial, agricultural, and urban development by humans has inflicted great damage on our forests and wildlife. Indian forests are under serious threat. Deforestation in India has been at an alarming rate. Some major causes of depletion of forest and wildlife resources are transformation of nature into a resource for obtaining different products, expansion of railways, agriculture, commercial and scientific forestry, and mining activities carried out during the colonial period, conversion of lands into agricultural lands, and the continuous practice of shifting cultivation. Large-scale development projects like the Narmada Sagra project, grazing of animals and fuel collection, growing population in the third world countries, hunting, poaching, environmental pollution and forest fires.